of the most positive and enduring movements to occur in Hamilton, Ohio in the past 25 years has been the restoration of life to historic buildings and neighborhoods. This remarkable process officially began in 1973 in the nine square blocks directly north of downtown Hamilton. Concerned citizens and government officials joined cooperative resources to create the city's first ever historic district. This original neighborhood was the first settlement outside of Fort Hamilton and was planted by Israel Ludlow, the surveyor of the Miami Purchase. Construction was mostly frame and of various architectural styles. The neighborhood was home to both prominent businessmen and laborers, resulting in an interesting mix of people and homes. Industry was close by. Often, people lived over top of their Often, shop or business. People lived over St. Stephen's Church, Butler County's first Catholic church, was built in 1836 and located just north of downtown. The parish held services and conducted a school in German after Irish members moved to St. Mary's. Also located in the area were a number of other important community institutions, including the Lane Public Library, the first free public library west of the Alleghenies. Hamilton businessman and philanthropist Clark Lane built the facility, filled it with books, then gave it to the city for the benefit of all. Both the library and his home across the street are unique octagonal buildings. In the same neighborhood as St. Stephen's Church, the library, and the Lane Hooven House was the county's first hospital, established by the Sisters of Mercy. The year was 1892 when Mercy Hospital began operations in the William Hearn residence with 15 patient beds and a staff of five sisters. The sisters saw the need for a new and larger hospital, so with the support of the community, the funds were raised to build a new, larger hospital in 1903. The hospital was designed to help 70 patients, 100 in times of emergency. Over the years, the hospital continued to expand adding more and improved health services. The neighborhood that would become Hamilton's German village was important from the very beginning, and it has been worth preserving. But the 1913 flood marked the beginning of a slow decline for the area. People began moving away and renting out their property. And over the years, architectural changes were made. By 1970, the neighborhood was a textbook case of inner-city decay. Crumbling buildings, litter-strewn alleys, broken sidewalks, people and places without cohesion or purpose. The United States would soon be celebrating its bicentennial, and an energy crisis was worsening. It was a time to join together as a nation and as a community. What better way to become involved in history and conservation of resources than to join in the restoration movement? Hamiltonians looked toward the German village in Columbus, Ohio as a model and began looking to the future. A successful historic district requires visionaries, hard-working volunteers, People who care about their neighborhood's past preserve wonderful stories handed down from generation to generation. And my mother lived here during the, when she was in her early 20s, during the uh, uh, flood of 1913. Uh, they lived on 3rd Street in the house next to the uh, Academy restaurant. And after that, they moved down the street a little bit farther on 3rd Street. So, and that was a Sloniker home down there. And my grandmother had a boarding house there. So uh, that's why I became so interested in German village. These sisters had a mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother in the village. A successful historic district requires investors and homeowners who take pride in their property and keep it continually improved. Also important are the business people who offer special shops and services which add to the character of a unique neighborhood. 
Well, we decided to come to the German village because we like the uniqueness and charm of the village with the historic buildings. We felt that it was uh, very fitting to our product and it's very accessible to uh, the walking clientele. We at the Candle House are glad that we're here in the German village. Interior and exterior improvements are most evident. But there is also a new pride and unity among residents, property owners, and those who work in the neighborhood. In 25 years, Hamilton's German village has transformed from a concept to reality. Street lighting, sidewalk, and other essential improvement projects have been facilitated with the use of federal revenue sharing funds and extensive energies of the Hamilton Planning and Public Works Departments. I'm glad I'm located here. Uh, it allows me to get through the day. It gives me a sense of what I'm doing and what we're doing and rediscovering the city of Hamilton is all worth it. The red brick sidewalks, period lamp fixtures, and landscaping are important assets. Residents look forward to the entire nine block area one day being fully completed and unified in appearance. Rerouting of State Route 127 the conversion of one-way streets to two-way traffic, and the renaming of streets to distinguish the area's German village have also been important to its new identity. Hamilton City Council authorized creation of the German Village Commission to review improvements and additions proposed for properties in the neighborhood. Today, that commission is the Historic Design Review Board. The board also includes buildings in the Dayton Lane and Rossville Historic Districts. Early on, individual buildings were placed on the National Register of Historic Places. Then, in 1990, the entire neighborhood was listed on the National Register. The neighborhood enjoys support and encouragement from the Chamber of Commerce and Rediscover Hamilton. But the real impetus for Hamilton's German Village can be credited to citizen action. Members of Hamilton's German Village Incorporated meet monthly. The agenda is usually dominated by projects and programs aimed at encouraging development of the area. The group visits other historic villages and sponsors special community events such as festivals. Concerts. And a delightful Christmas walk. The group established and currently maintains its German Village headquarters here, in an old carriage house on Village Street, which is available for rent for social gatherings and meetings. Fortunately for Hamilton, Restoration has a growing number of enthusiasts, supporters, and activists. Twenty-five years ago, in 1973, these courageous urban pioneers had their work cut out for them. A gas station became a popular donut shop. The infamous Hub Cafe Tavern was reborn as Wines and Such, now known as the Academy Restaurant. Bill Wilkes was responsible for this property and many other positive transformations. created an open green space and commons area where these buildings once stood. Today, the park is a warm, inviting area where residents can enjoy picnics and concerts. Many residential homes are personal expressions of their owner's pride and optimism for the future. Attractive offices and small businesses are an important element of German village, attracting welcomed visitors to the neighborhood. Unlike about 20 years ago when I started, it was a rather difficult thing to rezone old buildings. But in German Village, uh, because we're a planned business district, uh, it is very easy to rezone and uh, open small businesses. Fine dining is available. Many vital community institutions have become involved in the neighborhood improvement. Mercy 
Quincy Hospital has continued to expand and add facilities and services. Those expansions have blended the old with the new. St. Stephen's merged with St. Mary's and St. Veronica's, changing its name to St. Julie Billiard, and then undertook major renovations. Unfortunately, just before the dedication in 1990, a $2.3 million fire completely destroyed the roof and the ceiling. But the parish was committed to stay and rebuilt the heavily damaged church. Joining Mercy Hospital and St. Julie Billiard in major renovations and expansions was the Lane Public Library, which transformed into a spectacular focal point for the neighborhood. The library is both old and new. I think that as an essential part of German Village, I like to think the library is now one of its jewels. I think it brings it into perspective of the way German Village looked in the 1800s and is a real asset for the entire community. Across the street is the Lane Hooven House, home of the Hamilton Community Foundation. The house gives visitors a peek at a fully restored interior of yesteryear. Not far away is another opportunity to travel back in time at the Butler County Historical Society's Museum, which is furnished with period pieces and artifacts donated by generous local residents. German Village embodies the best of what Hamilton was, and will be. Those involved in making improvements in the past 25 years have learned important lessons of thrift, patience, and old-fashioned hard work. I know we've, we've done a lot in the last 25 years. I've just been amazed at uh, the progress with some of the buildings um, that have changed. They have experienced the charm of a bygone era. People find that beautifying something left by earlier generations bestows delight and satisfaction. Complete with its slate roofs, old lampposts, interesting chimneys, delightful gardens and patios. Where time is kept by St. Julie's church chimes that ring every 15 minutes. New coats of paint, new lights, and new sidewalks blend with the old bricks kitchen posts and iron fences. Residents and visitors alike enjoy the proximity to the bike path, fit and art center, the courthouse, library and museum. One of the best assets to Hamilton's German village is that neighbors know each other and often become close friends. I moved here about three years ago from Seattle, Washington, and uh, I chose this part of Hamilton, the German Village, because I had lived here a few years before that, and I love it. I like the historic homes, I like the historic neighborhood, um, I like the neighbors, it's a, it's a closely knit, very fun and friendly community. People in German Village have a real sense of community and enjoy their identity as a unique neighborhood. It's a great bunch of people to work with. We've always gotten along very well. It's just really lovely to be involved down here. Each year, awards are given to home and business owners who make significant improvements to their village property. You're invited to visit this village, to walk its streets, enjoy its architecture, to meet the residents, and thank them for reclaiming such a historic area from blight and taking it to new beauty, for being urban pioneers and bringing a promising future to an old neighborhood, for making Hamilton an even better city by turning a neglected part of town into a prosperous and exciting place to be, by growing better with age right before our eyes. Hamilton's German Village.